Hey, good morning, everybody. Mike Freeland coming at you guys with a trading video. Today is 10-17, October 17th, uh, 2022. It is about five minutes before 11 um, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And guys, this is the first video of your, if you are actually subscribed to my channel, you know that I just started posting videos again this week. However, they have been about an amazing um, travel opportunity uh, that you guys can take a look at. But this is my first trading video in a while. And let me explain to you really, really quick um, why I haven't done videos in a while. To be quite simple is I have been, since the last video that I posted a couple uh, months ago or more, I have been on a total of five cruises. Uh, I just took time and went on cruises and enjoyed myself, uh, you know, going from the Caribbean to other locations and jumping from carnival ships to the MSC cruise line, just having myself some fun. And, and even though I was doing that, I was still trading, but I wasn't posting anything. I was just relaxing and enjoying myself. That's what I've been doing for the most part. But now I'm back and I want to show you guys this very simple strategy for trading Forex. Yeah, very powerful. Now you need three indicators. As you can see here, I have the standard candles and this little box here is just, as most of you know, we're moving sideways. So I just drew this box so that I could see when it would break out. That's just a visual. It has nothing to do with the strategy, but I have the regular candles, then I have the Akanashi candles, uh, as is, I didn't change anything in them, nor did I change anything with the regular candles, and then I have the RSI, okay, the only thing I did with the RSI is, um, let me go in here in the settings, over to inputs, I'm sorry, I removed the RSI base, which was, if it was there, it would be like that. I removed that, left all of the numbers and everything um, alone. And here's what's so simple yet powerful about this particular strategy, okay? You're focusing really on the Hakanashi candles, all right? And what the whole concept is, and we're going to do it for a buy first okay when you see ladies and gentlemen a green candle all right and i'm just doing a green candle and the rsi is above 50 okay you want to take that trade all right now if you follow if you understand candlesticks and candlestick patterns or you're learning them after a while, you'll be able to tell even with that when you should get in and get out. But as you can see by the market just opening up and we're here pretty much in this lateral move um, where you don't trade anyway, this is why things are going the way that they are with this particular, particular trade. And you can also see that it appears that it's breaking out into a downtrend. So if it's, because it's a downtrend and you have to, with this particular strategy, you must follow the trend. You can see back here, it was going up. Then we got into consolidation and now it appears once it broke out right in here that it may start the downtrend or it has started a downtrend. But what I need you to focus on, because it's doing a downtrend, in this case, you want to deal with the first red candle after the green all right and the rsi has to be below the 50. normally i uh, make the 50 line bolder um as a matter of fact let me go ahead and do that uh well i, I guess you guys understand what i'm saying I normally uh, make the 50 line bolder, um, but 
you guys probably understand what I'm saying. You know where the 50, it's in the middle here. And so with this red candle that came after this green, it's below the 50. So I would trigger a sell. And as you can see, because this broke out, literally, if I move this over, it broke out of the, um, it started breaking out of the box here but the candle here came after you can get in and this is below the 50 and it's a downtrend start you ride this all the way down until you get to your first green candle and then you come out all right so let me run this again because this is in a downtrend after the consolidation that came in a downtrend you would be looking to do sell sell so here's the green candle and then the first red candle afterwards as it's beginning to come out you would take a sell right here and you could ride it all the way down to this green candle you can pop out all right now let's look at here is one just before it went into this consolidation. Uh, this here is the 930 when it actually, the market actually opens up. So check this out. The market opens up at 930. Um, you actually could have started it back here, but sometimes because this is also for NAS, NAS 100, the NASDAQ 100, and it's this, I only, you can use this on any strategy you want, on any pairs you want it work, but I like it for um, using it on NAS 100. Now, because this is back here, as you can see, an uptrend, when this candle went green, okay, you could have gotten in and rolled this all the way up to the red candle and come up, okay? Keep in mind, this was above... The RSI is above 50. Here's your first green candle. Boom. Now, the big thing about this is the fact that the market doesn't open. NAS doesn't open up until 930 Eastern Standard Time. You could play around and do this. It's kind of accurate. It's not 100%, but no, no strategies are 100%. But if you follow and play with this in the demo or just set it up and watch, a lot of times you will get out of it what you expect now of course with the consolidation as you can see here the consolidation here you could even make some pips in here but you risk a chance of losing more than winning because you only get a few candles because it's just back and forth back and forth as you can see but as it broke out over here and the market started coming down well this red candle coming down it's oh it's under the 50 and boom, you know that it's coming out as long as you follow these candles. Boom. You know, you got you, you, you grab some money out of the market. Okay. Now, once you get really comfortable with this, and I wouldn't suggest it right at the beginning, but once you get really, really comfortable with this, you can almost come out, take a break to see. And if you understand the candle, you can get right back in. And ride and you this will allow you in some cases in many cases to ride the pullback if that's what you want to do I would not stress I would stress not doing it initially while you're learning this but you do have that opportunity now if this goes up to this area here uh, or maybe back you it, when the red candle forms that's what you're looking out for um, then you could come out you know this is a uh, looks like it's going to be a downtrend. So if you want, you can ride it down. You see the RSI is bending down as well. So you, you can just play around with it, guys, but it works. You have to uh, play around with it, and it works. I guarantee you that because I've made some great money off of it. So you want your regular candles here. You want to pull your Haganashi, Haganashi candles. Okay, you want your RSI, all right? And all you want to do in either direction, whether 
the trend is going up or the trend is going down, okay? The RSI has to be above or below the 50 in the direction of the, tr the trend. And then if it's an uptrend, as soon as you see that first, and I'll do back here, that first green candle, that's when you get in and you can ride it until you see the first red candle. All right. When it's a downtrend, as soon as you see the first red candle, you can ride it as long as the RSI is below the 50. You can ride it down until you see the first green candle, which signaling that there's going to be a change in um, the market. OK. It's a very, very simple strategy, guys. If you didn't understand it, go back. I know it was a little might have been a little confusing the way I was sharing it at the beginning, but it's very easy to understand. Um, those are the only three indicators you need. Now, these blue broken lines here, for some crazy reason, I picked up on NAS 100 makes moves like every 125 pips. So what I did, guys, when I first started this, adding these, I didn't add right at this particular one. This is where how far the market has come down. I started on a even, and I would suggest that you start on an even number. Okay, and by even number, I mean like for example here, 108.25.00, uh, 108.800.00, something like that. Okay, of course the market will. Uh, It'll change. They won't always be even, but the market tends to play around this particular deal. As you can see here, it played around and then it shot up. Okay, it broke straight through mm -hmm. that one. Then you see it comes up here, touch, and it comes back down. If you follow this, you will see how this plays around with that line with this broken line and then it went down if I move down some more you see it touch it's it just plays around that line and it's like every 125 pips so if you want to put this on your chart and I just always leave this on my NAS uh, 100 chart as you can see it came close then it started going back up it just plays around this. I don't know why, but it, it does. And it works. It's like a visual guide. Even if I take everything else off, I leave these blue lines on here. You see, again, I leave these blue lines on, these broken lines, because it it works. And you see where it went. It actually went down. I'm going backwards, but you can see exactly what I'm, what I'm showing you. Okay, so... Let me go back over. So what I would suggest you do, if you want to add these to your NAS, NAS 100 only, it only works on NAS 100. I would say start like for an example here, 10, 700. Uh, you can start there. All right. Even if you go back, no matter if, you know, where the market is, when you go to do it, just go to the the, pre the most previous uh, one from where the market is even. And then from there, you want to go follow the market. And I would say initially when you're setting it up, you want to follow the market and maybe do three lines at 125 pips, hip space apart. So, for example, as close to that as you can get. So, for example, if I did there and I go up here and I'm right on the green line, it's right around 125 pips. Then from there, you know, you mark it and you go here. Once you, well, let me show you really quick. Once you knock that in, you click on it again to hold it there. Then you go up and get your broken line. I moved mine over here, but you get your horizontal line. And you just put it right at that arrow that you can see up in there. Boom. 
that's one then you just grab your ruler again your measure measuring tool go from there to another 125 and once you do about five or six of them and the market is in the middle all you do is follow it and if the market goes above the last one that you did on the upside or if it goes below the last one then that's when you just go ahead and get your ruler measure out another 125 pip mark and then add another in whichever direction you're going I'm telling you guys <laughs> it works I mean it, it gives you it's a visual and it lets you know sometimes when I'm in the market especially when the market is first opening up I will wait and let it get to this level let it get to that level and then see what it does see if it plays around if it breaks through you know, or goes back up whichever one even with you know doing this particular strategy this is just a visual that I still look at because I know that if it's up here and it starts to break down a lot of times it's going to go all the way back down to the previous one or if it breaks through it's going to go up 125 pips so if it does that <clears throat> you know that you're going to make 125 pips off of whatever trade you're in so again as I close guys the initial strategy is you want to use your regular candles you want to put it on the Hakanashi candles and the RSI you want to look with the Hakanashi candles once it comes out of any type of liquidation you want to look if it's in the if the trend is a uptrend that means you're going to deal with the green candle so the first green candle you see after red you want to take that trade and ride it until you get to the first red candle again if it's a downtrend you want to look for the first down, uh, red candle after the greens going down you want your RSI to be uh, below the 50 and you want to ride that down until you get to the first red candle and you can play this game back and forth back and forth do it and test it in your demo or set it up on your uh, trading view and just watch it for a day or two especially if if you are familiar with certain pairs you may not have to watch it as much but if you're familiar with uh, certain pairs but if you're not watch it on a particular pair and see how the market moves with it and, and see how it works um, like I said it, it has worked for me on quite a few pairs uh, but I focus these blue lines here specifically on NAS okay there I don't have them on any other pair it's just NAS but um, this strategy with these three indicators works set them up guys and see how they work for you this is Mike Freeman you guys take care I promise I'll be back tomorrow hopefully with another strategy that has been helping me out giving this stuff away for free unless you decide you just want to donate to me that's fine I appreciate it but I'm here to help people who are struggling with different indicators and different strategies so that they can make more successful trades all right Mike Freeland take care you guys uh, talk to you later see you in the next video bye bye